All right, gang, for our body weight squat, you're gonna set up in basically a, a foot position that is anywhere between hip width to shoulder width apart. And you can flare your feet out five or 10 degrees. I don't mind for that unless I uh, specifically say something in your uh, program notes. Um, I kind of like feet going forward when you're using wedges and things like that. And again, I'll put this in your notes. If you are using wedges or any kind of plates, if you don't have wedges at home or a two by four or some books, uh, if you are using the elevation, then I strongly recommend trying to do it with your feet facing forward. It may not always work. We may have to go a flare. We have to kind of do a staggered step. That'll be in your show notes or your program notes. Okay, so no matter what uh, position, what squat you're choosing, feet are here. You have a good stack of thorax, top of pelvis. So without losing any height, you want to just take a big breath in. Exhale. And as you exhale, just let that lower ribs, uh, those lower ribs, travel down towards your belt buckle belt buckle up towards your lower ribs. And then from here, you wanna kind of maintain that canister or that stack position. Arms out in front. You're gonna break out the knees and hips at the same time and try to stay upright. This is why the wedges are really good to kind of help you with that. And then drive right back up. Make sure your foot, knee, and hip are all in line with one another. And so therefore you're not caving in as you squat down. Let me give you a couple here from the front. So again, I'm using wedges, so my feet are facing forward. And because I'm using that wedge, it just gives me a little bit more ankle mobility, puts my weight back on my heels, and it's easier for me to squat, okay? That's your body weight squat.